What is going on, true believers? We're going to do another portfolio update. This is potentially the last update that'll be sponsored to you by MEXE. For those of you that don't know, previously, MEXE was charging 0 0.005 for futures trading and 0 0.002 for spot trading. And effective immediately, they have now completely shut that down uh, to 0 0.001 for futures trading and that's it and they've completely shut off spot trading for people like myself and sam price crypto lifer uh people who have been sending traffic to mexe so uh because of that the potential revenue that we would get from this platform has gone down by 80 percent for example if you were uh receiving two thousand dollars from MEXE for your trade volume, uh, you now get what two hundred dollars, uh, four hundred dollars, something like that. Um, you know, if it's extra income, if it's something, then you know it's more money than you had before, right? Um, but at the same time, if you were receiving a certain amount because your work was valued, and you, and now you're not. So anyway, it's probably time to move on from MEXE. Also, luckily, their volume is down 40% in the last four days since they made this move, which, by the way, they didn't even provide people a notice. They just cut everybody off and said, oh, well, that kind of business practice, that might be why everybody has a problem with MEXE and why so many people have had so many problems with them. But I digress. The reason that we're here today is to set up one more buy on our portfolio and we're going to skip through some of the pleasantry of this because we've already spent enough time talking about MEXC. We're going to get right to it today. We're going to buy Caspa. We're going to throw $50 into Caspa. Now, uh, speaking of Sam Price, Crypto Lifer, uh, was going, I saw a, a post by him, and it was a sharing over here of Crypto Rover. Now, if you don't know who Crypto Rover is, um, good for you. Uh, Crypto Rover uh, is one of those guys who uh, one day, We'll post this picture right here and say it's getting ready for a massive breakout. I'm still buying here on Caspa and in an hour post something about Caspa's heading to zero. Uh, he, everything that he does is both ends of the spectrum, wild stuff. Uh, but it's engagement, right? And I looked at this and I thought, you know, what? that actually does look like it's about to break out. Um, and Sam seemed to agree. So, uh, and most people are looking at it. You know, we're, we're, we're all kind of looking at it saying, well, you know what? It's actually getting ready to pump. Now, this was at 1009, and it's currently trading at 100058. So since he said it was getting ready to pump, it dumped even more and continued down this trend. So we're in a better position than if we had listened to him when he was giving us this wild-eyed speculative sort of move here. So we're going to go with market price. Uh, we're going to do a buy of $50 right now. Looks like we're going to get, uh, we're going to make that buy right there. Uh, roughly speaking, I guess we're going to get about 50. Uh, we're going to about 50 of these um, or 500. I'm sorry. We're about 499, 500. So um, we've bought 499.07 Caspa. So again, we're putting $50 in every single time. So now uh, that puts us in a, a good position for that. And we've increased our holding in the wallet. Now, coming over to the wallet, just a reminder of what we've done so far. We're down $16 on the day, by the way. But we bought $100 worth of Solana, currently valued at $98. Uh, $100 worth of Injective, now worth $88. We DCA'd. We, we made two buys on that one. Uh, Avalanche, $50, which is worth $57 right now. Render, uh, $53 right now. We bought $50. Uh, $50 into ARB, worth $51. CASPA, $50 for $50. Uh, API 3, uh, we bought $50 worth. It's worth $48. Uh, Doge, worth $47.60. Again, the rest of these are all $50. Uh, Volt, $46.97. Bone, $42.43. Not doing very well on our bone, I do want to say. So, um, and that sounds hilarious when you say it that way. So anyway, that's what we're buying. That's what we're doing. Caspa has entered the portfolio again. Every time we do this, we're just buying $50 worth. And sometimes, every once in a while, we'll DCA. Uh, I do want to DCA into Bone a little bit because the price continues to dip. And I think that that's an opportune buying 
time frame, especially going into the bull market when retail comes back and shibarium probably starts to pump. And then they start to reduce the supply of bone. I, I, I think that's coming too. So uh, I would think, and I would venture to say that, you know, $2 bone, probably not that far away. Uh, we don't have too much in it, not too much risk in this game, but we don't like to see it down. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, the bell to be notified of future content, and we will let you know who our preferred partner for trading will be going forward. Until then, this is not financial advice, but I'm always